Okay, so we're going to get started now. So I'm going to look at the capstone journal brief, and then I'm going to show you some examples of three past student submissions. But I really want you to understand what's required of the brief and what we're asking you to do and expecting of you for this. So that's the purpose of this video. So let's get stuck into it. So if you open up that brief, we're going to read through it now. It's worth 15%. And what's important about this is it helps us really understand your component in um, the group work. Uh, it helps us really identify what you've actually done. So let's have a look. Um, this assessment requires you to document and visualize your individual progress throughout assessment one and assessment two, including independent research, design development and outcomes as a weekly journal. Uh, it actually also requires you to document your work on the iPad app um, and your design folio as well. The ultimate objective of this is to come up with a multi-page publication that reflects your independent research and your design process throughout the entire unit, weeks 1 to 12. Um, so let's just go back and look at what that actually means. So if we go back to week 1 here, under the individual uh, component, Design Studio 2, back in week 1, see right down the bottom, Activity 2, Documenting Your Design Process. And you'll see the same in week two. Okay, this is um, design strategy week two, down the bottom, documenting your design process. So every week, this is week three, week four, documenting design process, week five, there's been a slight variation on this task. And the two steps that are involved each week, or that have been asked of you each week, which you may or may not have done before now, um, one is to research and, and um, write a concise review on some aspect that we've been covering. And then second is to document your design process in some way. So for example, back in week one, we asked you to research and write a concise review, 200 to 300 words on information design or infographics. And then document your research design and artwork process in your journal. Week two had something similar, research and write a concise review on information design and document your design process. Week three, Research and write a concise review of two to 300 words on personas and customer journey maps, as well as document your research and design and artwork process. Week four, uh, research and write a concise review on the best practice case study relevant to your project work. Week five was research and write a concise review on a designer who is relevant to your project work. Week six is concise review on a job relevant to your project work. Week seven, was on interface design. So you can see that each time you see that activity three in Design Studio 2, individual work, we're asking you to do two things. So if we have a look now at the assessment details back at the brief page here. Um, part four and part five are those two steps. The part five is the design process and part four is the independent research. So let's just read through those. Part four, independent research. 12 pages in total, one per week. It's a record and presentation of your individual research in support of each stage in your individual and group projects. Uh, review, each week research and write a concise review of a design or topic relevant to the project work. Two to 300 words for each week. It investigates areas of information interface or publication, etc. So there's actually a research topic link here. And this actually breaks down all of the uh, research that you should have covered up until week six. Study the selected design topic and discuss insights in your own words to show your understanding and application of key design concepts. Note, this review is not a diary or a description of the process. So it's a review. It's a kind of a little academic, concisely written academic um, document for each of those independent research steps, one per week. Whereas the design process step is a little bit more loose, a little bit more personal. It's more a comment on your design process. And it's, to, it's really important because it's a record of what you've done. And it helps me understand exactly your part in your group's work. So part five, design process, 12 pages in total, one per week. A week by week record clearly showing evidence of your individual work and process relating to each outcome and project stage. Organize your presentation on a grid and use labeling to show how your design developed through all stages. 
from concept to completion. Use screen captures, sketches, diagrams, and photographs, etc., to record your work. Reflect on your design process at both individual and group levels by including descriptions and personal observations. Uh, project stages. Clearly define and following clearly define the following stages of your individual contribution to one research, concept development, design development, artwork, and references for all visual images and information sources. So they're the two key components of the Capstone Journal, um, but there's more. You've also got to have a summary, a concise summary of all the final outcomes. Assessment one, assessment two, assessment three, and assessment five, design folio. And you've also got to include your peer reviews. See down here, you've got to have your peer reviews and a list of all references. It is important to use the correct APA styling. Some of you don't yet know how to do that. And it's important that you, if you want to get full marks, um, learn how to cite properly. So here's a work from Megan Vitale. I believe this is from 2016. Her contents page, you can see what she's done here. She's put her final outcomes first for the strategy, the proposal. Snapshot Burundura is their version of your iPad app screens. And final outcomes for her design folio, which you're currently working on um, in this unit. Then she's put her individual research separately to her design process. And she's put a design practice survey. I forgot to mention that. That's required as well. And her peer reviews and references. So there's gonna be another set of peer reviews required by you all for the design proposal in week 12 and a list of references. So let's have a look. Final outcome for her design strategy assessment one. Here's her uh, assessment one presentation document or you know most screens, it hasn't got every screen there but most of them are there. She's showing here the, the first design of that presentation and then the second or revised design. That's a great indication of the process they went through. And here's their publication for the design strategy assessment one and the revised publication design. Assessment two, design proposal. Now this is obviously a mock-up of a, a digital PDF. So they haven't actually photographed a printed document. They've used a template or got a photograph from somewhere and they've just mocked up their own or her own version of, of her work. And here's her uh, other, you know, other images from the design proposal. She's obviously focusing in on some of that fantastic design work that their group's done to showcase it here. So this is really the first section is really just showcasing all the work that they did in their design strategy, design proposal and iPad app briefs. Here's her iPad app submission. And her design folio. And here's her design practice survey. And now we're going into the first week of her independent research. And if I go back to our list, um, we had information design, infographics. So you can see that there's a slight difference in what they were required. This is a research component for each week. Week one, week two, week three. So here they're dealing with cartography, research on cartography, what makes a good map, etc. And there's definitely a similar review that you would have had to have done in your unit. Okay, here um, on the topic of isolation. But here, week five, again, customer journey mapping, that's similar to what you'll be covering. Uh, this is the process of looking for jobs. User interface design, this I believe is the same for you. So you can see what she's done here is she's um, really documented well, in most cases using screen grabs, um, or graphics that she's found. In each case, notice please that she's citing any images. Please, if you are using an image, you must cite it. Uh, there needs to be a source cited of any image used in a document like this. And if you're quoting, you must cite in-text referencing and then have a reference list at the back. Okay, so we're up to week eight. And in this case, she's used uh, a sketch. Now, what I want to encourage you all to do if you are using sketches, which you will be doing, especially in the design process section, is make sure that they look good on screen. Process them in Photoshop, clean them up, try to use a scanner rather than a photograph. 
So please take care to present any sketches well. So on going here, week nine, week 10, week 11, week 12. And that's the end of her research stage. Now we're in the design process stage, week one. So here she's documenting her design process. Is she working on the design of the iPad app here in week two? You can see her sketches there. Week four, week five is very close to the design strategy stage here. And here, um, logo and branding design, week 11 and week 12. So this is all the completion of her individual design process documentation. Here's her design practice survey and her skills survey, beautifully laid out. Onto the peer review um, or the peer reviews. Let's look at the second example now. This is from Maysoon Abdul Ghaffour. I'm not sure if that's a woman or a man, but the work is really good. Project outcomes first, strategy, proposal, iPad app, and digital folio. Then the research stage, week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, Week six, week seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, just note the value this student's put, my students put on images, and note her clever or his clever use of a little numbering system here that links up to her or his reference list down the back. Now that's a totally legitimate way to cite um, images because sometimes the link to the source becomes cumbersome um, and that's a really legitimate way to get around that. So, okay, so there's her research again, heavy emphasis on really good images. Um, please take note of that. Um, we we'll want these to be interesting to look at, not just text heavy. Now, moving on to Maysoon's design process. This is week one of Maysoon's design process. Again, really well documented imagery to show um, some of her research, um, some notes she started to take in Word, some sketches on a plain piece of paper that look fantastic with a bit of color, and um, some other research she's found on infographics. Again, these are stages of her vector design work in Illustrator that she's sort of carved out beautifully and placed here. Again, screenshots and um, so all those steps that you've gone through already, we were looking for record of those and evidence of those as the process that you've gone through and place that in here. And then give us some information about it, especially with the design process. Just describe what you did, what you learnt, um, why you did it. It doesn't have to be an essay in each case, but just give us some um, indication of the process that you went through. So a really, really good example of capstone journal design. The grid is repetitive and simple, typographically careful the way she's laid it all out, paying attention to details such as, you know, hyphenations being turned off. Um, she's got a really nice consistency with her leading, uh, lovely hierarchy and use of color. Not too fancy, just enough to, to guide us through. And here's her peer reviews, or his peer reviews. Sorry, Maysoon, if you're a man. Okay, and the third one I want to show you is um, by Dylan. That's definitely a man. And he's laid his out slightly differently. What he's done is he's put um, the journal in weekly stages, but what he's done is actually put the review or the research followed by the design process. Week, week at a time. I'll show you what I mean. So here's his final outcomes, of course. iPad app, four screens, design strategy and his contribution to it, design proposal and his contribution to it, the mock-ups. So here's week one uh, research and week one design process. So he's followed it like that. Week two, research and design process. Week three, research design process. Week four, research. Just notice his navigation 
menu across the bottom, keeping me totally aware of where I'm at as I flick through research week five and design process. Research week six and design process. And week eight, design process. And here's the design process for that week. Corporate branding, research and design process. Research and web app design and design process. Not a lot of sketching in this um, gentleman's folio, uh, gentleman's journal, uh, which is a shame. It's good to see some sketches. To me, that's primary evidence of your thinking as a designer. Here's his skill survey and peer reviews and reference list. So there you go. So look, that's it. I don't want to go on too much longer. Um, that's the capstone journal brief. Uh, it's, it is A3, horizontal. It's required as a digital PDF for submission. That's it. So what I recommend you do now, over the next um, week or two, try not to leave it any longer than, say, week eight, is catch up on all those tasks, gather the documentation, and then design a template, an A3 template in InDesign, populate it, and then have it ready each week as you, you know, fill out the other tasks as you go along so that you're ready to go. So the whole thing is due, uh, it's Friday the 17th of February 2017. So thanks very much everyone. Please um, write any questions below in the thread. If anything's confused, review the image, uh, review the video if I've confused you. Uh, but hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea of what's required. Um, and I wish you all the best with your Capstone Journal.